Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the 6th through 10th perfect squares and square roots. Now remember, squaring a number means to multiply a number by itself. When it comes to square roots, square roots are the opposite, the inverse of squaring a number. So we need to think, what number multiplied by itself will equal the number under the root symbol? Let's jump into the 6th through 10th perfect squares and square roots, starting with number 6, where we have 6 squared. That means 6 times 6, which equals 36. So 6 squared equals 36. That means that the square root of 36 equals 6. Let's move on to number 7, where we have 7 squared. That means 7 times 7, which equals 49. So 7 squared equals 49. That means that the square root of 49 equals 7. Let's move on to number 8, where we have 8 squared. That means 8 times 8, which equals 64. So 8 squared equals 64. That means that the square root of 64 equals 8. Let's move on to number 9, where we have 9 squared. That means 9 times 9, which equals 81. So 9 squared equals 81. That means that the square root of 81 equals 9. Let's move on to number 10, where we have 10 squared. That means 10 times 10, which equals 100. 10 squared equals 100. That means that the square root of 100 equals 10. So there you have it. There are the 6 through 10 perfect squares and square roots. Now, I would recommend getting down and knowing these five, along with the first five perfect squares and square roots. This is really going to help with any squares, square roots, or problems involving squares or square roots moving forward. I dropped the link to the first five perfect squares and square roots video down in the description, along with some other related videos. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.